What a dork. She's so, she's so moe. Moe. Kawaii. The origin, apparently the librarian who yelped, quickly crawls out and bounces up to extremely rigid, rigid, rigid attention. How can I help you? Her voice is strained in a failing attempt to sound casual, and she's rubbing the back of her head. Rub, rub, rub. Good afternoon. What happened just now? I heard a strange sound. It's nothing. I just hit my head. See, I dropped an eraser under the desk, and while I was looking for it, a pencil dropped, and when I look... For both of them, you you came and surprised me. Uh, are you all right? I'm sorry. I I couldn't know. I'm kind of blind. Oh, it's it's okay. It's okay. Sorry for making you worry. It is this is nothing. I've I've had much worse happen to me. She's quick to reverse Lily's apology, almost frantically trying to push aside the possibility that she could in any way inconvenience by bashing her head on the counter. Yes, uh, worse things have happened. <laughs> the girl fidgets with her fingers as Lily doesn't seem to drop her concerned expression, and then she shuffles some papers around the counter for no reason. A little shorter than Lily, Replete with glasses, freckles, and a very troubled look, she seems to fit a librarian perfectly. I just want to take a moment to appreciate, yes, for dating sim, of any dating sim I've played, of course the anime girls have the bigger boobies and, like, overly cutesy, but honestly, this game isn't too bad with the scale of the boobs. And over the cutesy. Like, librarian nerd. She's adorable. Obviously, for some reason, they're, like, pushing off her boobs there. But it's not, like... You know what I mean? It's not... Awful? I don't know. I appreciate when... Games aren't... As over the top. But again, it's kind of fun to play games that are over the top. Because it's just, like... What? Physics and gravity. What? Yeah. Uh, Lily, did you get my message? Um, message. Hmm. Oh, the two imported books that arrived? Right, right. They, they finally came. I can't believe it took you so long, but... Admits her celebrations partially for managing to change the topic, I'm sure. She notices me from the corner of her eye and freezes on the spot when she does. Wah! Oh, no. I'm sorry for not noticing you before. Did you need to check out a book or return one? I, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Senpai. The way she can quickly shift between moods is a little unsettling. Hey, don't make fun of people with, like, anxiety. Asayo, I want to push you over. Oh, he's with me. Yuko, this is Asayo, a new student. Asayo, this is Yuko, the school librarian. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Hisayo, right. Hisayo, pleased to meet you too, Hisayo. For a second, she visibly attempts to engrave the name on her mind so she won't forget. I like to imagine that she, Hisayo is just seeing like her taking out a sharp object and just engraving it. Is that a little weird? Maybe. I'm a little weird. Okay. Yuko often arranges to import foreign books in Braille for me. Would you like to tell Asayo a little something about the library? Lily's innocent suggestion is met with an expression of abject terror. Nah, I, I please, Lily, I, I can't. I don't know what he could be interested in. This is too much. How is it any responsibility at all? I don't get. But her objection is so sincere, I don't doubt for a second that she would rather disembowel herself on the spot than tell me where the light novels are. What disembowel? But... So there's a lot of books in Braille here, huh? I attempt to save the day by asking the first thing that pops into my head. It seems to work at least partially, as Yuko seems to. Not exactly relax, but at least look slightly less tense. Well, 
I, I think about a third or fourth of Yamako's library is either in Braille or audio. It makes sense, given all the blind students that be here. Well, if it's only that, how come this library is so big in the first place, huh? Why explain yourself? Um, well, we get a lot of new books regularly because the library is adequately endowed. That's probably why. Whoa, endowed. Hold on, Yuko. Calm your pants. They spend more on books than my salary, and then I have to organize and shelf them all. Mm, it's so troublesome. They weigh so much. I wish I could just quit. Dot, dot, dot. A very awkward silence follows this revelation of too much information. Uh, I'll go check the aisles then, if you don't mind. It's probably best for all of us, since she keeps talking to me. Very well. Meanwhile, Yuko, I would have those books if it's alright with you. Blind wipe. My first impression was right. The library is surprisingly big. Like my dick. Ambling down the narrow aisles, I study the spines of the books in random order, occasionally sliding one out to read the blurb. Read the blurb. Who says blurb? In a few moments, I have a respectable stack of books in my arms. I guess I'll never be stuck for choice in here. The norm the nor well, the normality of the library sinks in. Sure, there are large prints and braille books scattered throughout, but it's what it is, a library. It's as if the calm mood from the room I had tea with Lily in snuck with us here. Unless it was here to begin with. What is he even... He just trails off into thinking. I reach the end of the aisle and find a collection of desks set up for study or personal reading. Going a little further, though, I discover a nice quiet corner at the back. While the rest of the library has the odd student at a desk, either reading or stealthily sleeping, the back is pretty much deserted. As I glance around, I see someone who I recognize in one of the several beanbags. Yes! It's our girl. It's our Goyle with the purple hair. It's the dark-haired girl from my class. The one who snuck out of the classroom earlier. If I was in this game, I'd be her. I really feel... I love her. Her look. Oh my gosh. I want that bow tie. Bow ties are cool. She's reading a book, keeping it close to her face, which makes her look like she's really into it. From the way she was acting today, I had her pegged as more of a delinquent than a bookworm. In fact, her mysterious disappearance from the class raises all sorts of whys in my head. Why? Oh, why? Intrigue floats slowly but surely towards the surface, and before I know it, I'm walking towards the mysterious long-haired girl. I guess there's no harm in introducing myself. She's a classmate, after all. Walking over to another beanbag, I take a seat and lay my books beside her. Wah! The girl starts. Starts? The girl starts? Was she a car? Looking scaredly up at me from beneath her fringe. This is the first time I've seen her this close. Underneath those long, dense bangs, I can see that part of her face, at least a third, if not half, is pretty badly scarred. My eyes are immediately drawn to the scars, some consciously peeking past her hair until they meet her own eyes. For a second, I'm shocked and divert my eyes to the book in her hands before I realize that looking away probably only makes it worse. It takes too many seconds to collect myself and remember why I walked up to her in the first place. Hi, I'm new here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Uh, hi. Uh, hi. I I'm, so I'm new here. Hisai and the guy, we're in the same class. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, uh, I just transferred to the other day. Maybe you don't remember? Dot, dot, dot. The girl still doesn't say a word, but simply stares at me wide-eyed. She's so cute! Uh, I'm s I'm still getting used to the place, so I'm trying to meet as many people as I can, so, uh... Well, what's your name? Uh, Hanako. Han ha Hanako. Her speech is stuttering and so quiet that it's barely audible even in the still library. Somehow I think that my delinquent impression of her was wrong. You think? Look at this poor little deer in the headlight. She is so not a rebel. So not a rebel. Oh, uh, Hanako, eh? What you reading? She gently tips the book backwards so that I can read the title, at the same time hiding her face behind it. How come we're in the scenery now? What? She must have noticed me staring before. Well, uh, Life of Pi? I like Pi. What's it about? Boy and a tiger? On a boat? I can see this taking some time. 
Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Is it any good? She nods from behind the book, but stays silent. She looks kind of tense. A bit like Yuko earlier, but in a different way. More like petrified with terror, I'd say. He has that effect on girls, apparently. He petrifies them. Because he's so sexy. So the mysterious delinquent girl turned out to be... Oh, she's shaking. Shaking in a way that makes it look like she's mortally afraid of me. The only way out of this, as far as I can tell, is to try to get a normal conversation going. Oh, is it a library book? I'm looking for new ones to read, but there's so many. No, it's mine. Oh. So, hey. You come here often? Dot, dot, dot. A huge, huge blush spreads on Hanako's face, and her eyes widen far larger than I thought it was possible for eyes to do so. Well, this is anime. Uh, did she interpret my lame attempt at small talk as a feeble attempt to pick her up? Oh, I mean, uh, I, uh, I did it. I don't want to get in your pants. I... 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 Maybe I'm going to do something. Ew. Without warning, Hanako takes off and runs towards the counter. Her hair-like takeoff catches me so off guard that I didn't manage to go after her until she had a good head start. By the time I reach the counter, she's nowhere to be seen. Lily and Yuko are happily chatting away. Knowing that I won't be able to catch Hanako myself, I approach the Goyles. Oh, uh, hey, did you, did you see a Goyle run past here? Um, maybe. What did she look like? Well, uh, long dark hair. Kind of shy. She had well, some scars on her face. You wouldn't be talking about Hanako, would you? Oh, yeah, that's her. I saw her read and tried to, to chat her up, but I think I scared her. Oh, dear. Yuko, would you excuse me? I had better try to find her. Sure, sure. I'll just hold on to these until you come back. Oh, uh, what's happening? I'm sorry, but I'll have to explain to you some other time. Oh, okay. Catch you on the flip side, dog. Lily hastily grabs her cane and hurries out of the library, leaving me alone with the awkward turtle. Uh, I don't think I'll ever get the hang of this place, shucks. Did I do something wrong? What did you do? Nothing. I just, I just talked to her, tried to get to know her. Didn't even manage to get to know her that much. Yuko sighs and looks awfully bothered, even more so than she did. I guess you weren't wrong so much as tactless. Tactless? What? What are you saying, lady? Yeah, yeah, girl's a bit of a special case. It's not like she really talks to anyone. Isn't that a little bit weird? I wonder. It's just how she is, I think. Yuko doesn't sound at all convincing. Then again, maybe this is just the norm around here. Everyone has their problems, or else they wouldn't be here. Nice! Just, Hisayo is so insensitive. Perhaps I was off my game. Well, how should I deal with this, folks? Forcing myself to be casual only makes me feel like a phony. He's a phony! Hey, everyone! Like, there's an elephant in the room, you know? You go fidgets, looking like she wants to say something, but holds back. I think there's only an elephant if you act that way. I guess she doesn't have a good sense of self-restraint. It makes me smile, and she blushes heavily. Ah! What? Did I sound stupid? Oh, uh, no. It sounded wise. I guess you're right. Uh, I suck. Neither of us has anything to add, so Yuko fills the silence by shuffling some papers around. People who have papers on their desks really like doing that. Maybe you have a paper fetish. Do you ever think of that, Hisayo? No. Mm, did you find any books? I should be closing soon. I mean, this library should be closing, but I have to do it. I, I hope it's not too convenient for you. I don't care either way, but... Oh, yeah, I want some books. I left them over there because... Oh, uh, I'll just go get them. I fetch my stack of books from beside the beanbags where Hanako and I were sitting, and return to the counter. Wow, you read a lot, don't you? Whoa, I love reading. I surprise myself with that too, honestly. At least, when I really think about it. 
I had a lot of free time, so I just kind of started reading. <laughs> you like that about a man? Uh, I see. But she doesn't say anything else and just checks out my books. I guess this is why they call tact. What? What? 